Notion and Softer are two of the most useful apps for modern professionals, and they just integrated to form a powerful duo and really the easiest way to create and manage a web app to serve any need. And through this integration, Softer alleviates many of the biggest pain points of Notion, especially around selective sharing and customizing the look of your published content. Now, presumably you're familiar with Notion. It's an incredibly versatile platform with a set of powerful building blocks for building your own system where you can manage all of your information in one place. And if you're unfamiliar with Softer, it's a web app builder that's distinguished from other website builders by the way it seamlessly integrates with database apps like Airtable and Google Sheets. So the databases or tables in those apps become the backend content management system, and Softer creates an incredibly rich and fully customizable interface for navigating their content. And Softer also makes it easy to manage user accounts and tightly control which users can see what information. So with this new integration, Notion is now one of the database apps you can connect to Softer and use to manage the content of your web apps. And that means you can fully customize the interface with your own branding for the content you share from Notion. It means you can share filtered database views without exposing the full database. And it lets you share content with individual people without requiring them to create a Notion account and get familiar with Notion. So let's walk through three examples of what you can achieve when you pair Notion with Softer and how Softer can overcome some of Notion's biggest limitations. We'll look at a membership site, a client portal, and a dynamic directory of product recommendations. I've made them all available as templates linked in the YouTube description. Each one includes the Softer setup with a really sharp custom theme. And of course, it's all available to members of Notion A to Z, along with all of my other resources for getting the most from Notion. So for all three of these use cases, I have their Notion databases aggregated within this single page. And most of the databases are used by only one of the web apps, but a couple are shared, including our database of users. So in addition to using Notion for the content of your web apps, Softer can also sync your app's users with a Notion database. And that's incredibly useful for a multitude of reasons. It means you can use your existing centralized database of people as the user's database for your web apps. In Softer, you can specify which users to sync based on certain conditions. And it means you can designate app users and manage their permissions directly from Notion, which is really a huge benefit from standard website builders. And managing your app's users in Notion also allows third-party apps and platforms to create and update users. So when someone subscribes to your newsletter, for example, you could automatically make them a user at your free tier. And when a customer makes a purchase through your e-commerce platform, you could grant them access to the corresponding premium resources within your web app. Just like in Notion, you can add users to groups to manage their permissions as a unit. But unlike Notion, Softer allows you to add users to groups automatically based on conditions, such as whether they've purchased a product or subscription. And Softer also allows you to manage permissions at the block level, whereas Notion is limited to page level permissions. So these databases exist only for our demo apps, but in most cases, you'll connect Softer to your existing master databases for an ultra cohesive system. So our first use case is a membership site with Notion A to Z as the example. And along with Softer, Stripe is integrated with our user's database in Notion. So when a customer subscribes for the first time, Stripe creates the user and sets their subscription status to active. And that triggers Softer to send an onboarding email. And when a customer fails to renew their subscription, Stripe updates the status property to expired. And then in Softer, they're added to the expired group, which restricts them from accessing premium content and prompts them to renew when they sign in. So for our membership app, you can see we have three databases, lessons, templates, and tool. And when users sign into the app, they're presented with each of these options on the home page as a nice gallery. So if we open lessons, we can see they're displayed as a really nice list of these horizontal cards. And we can filter them by chapter. And remember, these are coming directly from our Notion database of lessons. And when we open a lesson, we can see its content nicely displayed in what's called the lesson details page. And templates and tools work similarly. Their details pages include a little bit of guidance and then an external link to a premium version of the resource. And then our next use case is a client portal. 
So two of the biggest pain points of Notion are the inability to share a filtered view of a database without sharing the full database, and the requirement of someone to create a Notion account and get oriented with Notion if you want to share content with them without making it public. And this software integration solves both. For your clients and partners, you can create an intuitive and really delightful interface that displays only their content from your Notion databases. And if you want, you can allow them to make updates in a way that's much simpler than Notion for someone who's never used it. Rather than signing into Notion, they're signing into your branded web app. And you can make that incredibly simple for them by providing a magic link that gives them one-click access to their content. Software creates their account and generates that link automatically when you designate your client a user in your user's database. So for this app, you can see we have databases for projects and tasks, resources, aggregated updates, which I love in place of a bunch of short emails, invoices, and companies, so each company is assigned an email domain and anyone whose email address contains that domain will see the content that's related to that company. So when a client clicks their magic link to access your app, they're greeted by name on the home page. And just like the membership site, they have cards for the core content types. And then they see a view of the tasks assigned to them within the next 30 days. So if we open the inbox option, this is a view of that updates database and a layout that I'd really love to see added to Notion. It's perfect for this sort of content. And remember for all of these databases, we're only seeing the content that's related to the company of the signed in user. And then for invoices, we have that nice list of horizontal cards with useful properties for each invoice, including its status and a link to the invoice as a PDF. And then Tasks also uses the horizontal cards, but you can click any card to expand it and see its notes property. And we can filter task by the person assigned. And then like the content in the membership site, projects can be fully open to display their details. For these projects, I've included the tasks related to the project, again, expandable to display their notes. And then we have the resources for the project. So back in Notion, the tasks and resources databases are related to the projects database, which determines which tasks and resources display within these project details. And then our third use case is a fully public directory of recommended products and services. And this one's built around one of my favorite newsletters, Ramble, which offers six recommendations from an interesting person once a week. So in Notion, we have databases of recommendations and recommenders, and they're related so we can identify the recommender for each recommendation. And then we have a third database of city and gift guides, which the publisher curates from the recommendations. And these guides are also related to recommendations, so we know how to populate them. So on the homepage of the software app, we have a big call to action for subscribing to the newsletter. And then below it is the full collection of recommendations. And they're filterable by category, recommender, and guide. And then visiting the recommenders page, we have a gallery of all recommenders. And of course, a true implementation would have many more. These templates include just a sampling of content for a sense of how it works. And then clicking a recommender opens their details page, where we can see their self-description and then a view of recommendations filtered for the recommender. And this is facilitated by that relation between recommenders and recommendations in Notion. And so the guides work the same way. Here we have just one sample guide, obviously, for Chapel Hill. And when we open it, we can see all of its related recommendations. So these three examples give you a good sense of the extraordinary capabilities of software's new integration with Notion. And like I said, to use as a starter or just to learn from, you can grab the templates from the YouTube description. Or join us in Notion A to Z for full access to all of my resources for making the most of Notion. And let me know in the comments what you create with this powerful new connection between software and Notion.